Hey, welcome into Good Day Cooking. We are with Brandon Williamson and Michelle Miller. They are from Slice Pizza and Brew. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see both of you. All right, so you may not think pizza, when you think of pizza, you may not think cheesecake. Mm -hmm. But you guys, that's one of your specialties, right? That people yes. love. It's become popular for sure. Um, today we're going to do a peppermint mocha cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Well, I have it already ready for you because that would take a little bit longer it than would. the little time segment we have. <laughs> but you are going to show us how to put the ganache, which makes it really, really a special cheesecake, right? Right. It adds a little bit of decadence to it. So yeah. what I have is um, some heavy cream um, heating up here on the stove mm -hmm. and heat up on medium heat. Uh, I added some peppermint with the heavy cream okay. and I let them sit overnight so it kind of infuses the cream. Oh, so it takes a little, a little minty, Yeah. So, you know, a little bit of preparing, mm -hmm. um, maybe like a cup of peppermints in with a cup of cream and uh, you'll let it sit overnight and then the next day you'll heat up your cream mm -hmm. and this is how you make your ganache. Okay. You can do about two cups of chocolate chips. These are milk chocolate chips. And what I'll do is I'll add them in just to melt them. You don't want to have your heat too high because mm -hmm. you don't want to cook it. So is this, is it a certain kind of chocolate? Is it, you said it's milk chocolate? This is milk chocolate. Okay. You can use dark chocolate or you can use white chocolate. Like um, you would have to change the ratio of cream you the, use, though. The dark chocolate would give it a whole different flavor. Yeah, it would. I mean, yeah. it's, some people like the not as sweet, a little bit more yeah. bitterness to the chocolate. That's the preference for me sometimes. Yeah. This, this is good. This is good. And have you done it with the white chocolate? I have. How, what's that Actually, like? like, the white chocolate is probably my favorite. That one's really good. I love white chocolate, so I bet that is really good. Yeah, and then the good thing about this ganache is you could use it for anything. It doesn't have to be just for cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So you can make it and put it with your ice cream. That'd be really, really good, okay. especially like some peppermint ice cream. So what does, like, a ganache mean? Is it just a... Um, it's a chocolate sauce, so it's heavy cream, Okay. and it has chocolate, any form of chocolate. And then um, sometimes you can add butter or vanilla to add a little more richness okay. to it. Now, are, do you have to be careful with it not to let it boil? or Right. You want to just heat your cream, um, not exactly to a boil. Mm -hmm. Just before it starts to boil, you'll see it start to simmer. Okay. And then you'll add in your chocolate and melt the chocolate in. And then once it's completely smooth, mm -hmm. it doesn't take too long. Okay. Now, could you use this in a different kind of cake, or is it just for the cheesecake? That you could. You actually could um, make it and let it cool overnight in the fridge. Or not even overnight. You can let it cool for a little bit, like 30 minutes, mm -hmm. just so it can set a little bit, and then okay. whip it, and it can be a really good filling for cakes. Okay. Or like I said, you can keep it melted and use it for ice cream mm -hmm. or just any little dessert if you just love chocolate. I mean, so it has a lot of go uses. Wrong. It does. All right. It, if that looks like that's, but and this is the finished product of what it looks like. So once that goes in. Yeah, there. so I'll, um, once you make your ganache, you'll end up pouring it on top of the, well, mm -hmm. I'll pour it on top of the cheesecake. This is once you've made your cheesecake. Oh my god. And the gosh. cheesecake is a chocolate cheesecake, and I kind of studded it with some chocolate cream okay. cookies and peppermint. Oh my gosh. Brandon, look at this. All right, so delicious. I would be so intimidated to make this, but I know a lot of our viewers are great cooks and chefs, and they might want to give this a try. But if they don't, Brandon, can folks get this at Slice? Yes, it's available on our website uh, for pre-order at SliceBirmingham.com, or you can walk in and order one uh, at any one of our four locations. All right, very good. I think, um, and they're probably around sixty-five dollars. I think you said. Uh, yes. Right. There's a lot that goes into that. Yeah. So that's there's a some, lot. We have some holiday flavors available right now, and okay. uh, for Christmas we're doing hot chocolate. We're doing a red velvet. That's really good. Very we have good. Snickerdoodle, and then a cranberry bliss, which will be like cranberry bliss bars. Right, you're making us all hungry. It's so good. All right, the <laughs> so peppermint mocha crunch cheesecake. Just adding that ganache makes it look totally different, doesn't it? All right, we'll take a break. Thanks to Brandon. Thanks to Michelle, and uh, for coming on today. Good to see both of you. Back in a moment.